have no fear. If the serial number is to protect you, you should not blame the serial number. If you know your ballot paper will be burnt in six months time, you should have no fear. Many civil servants have voted against the PAP. They are still here listening to the rally. We have said it many times. The PAP is a political party. The civil service exists to serve Singaporeans. So treasure your vote. Please don't spoil it. If, please mark in the correct box. Identify the rocket. I, I wish it's colored paper, then you go for the red. But I'm not sure whether it's colored. I don't think it's colored. If it's not colored, go for the rocket. The rocket will strike the lightning! The rocket will strike the lightning! Fellow Singaporeans, fear is no good for your mental health. If you live with fear after you cast your vote, you will be anxious for five years. You will be worried for five years. You can't sleep for five years. You will have to see, if you see me, I give you free treatment. <laughs> you have to see a psychiatrist for five years. So, fear is no good for your mental wellness. Take. Come again. Okay, not so serious. IMH, not so serious. <laughs> I don't think you end up in IMH. It's just that you're worried. Having cast your vote, you have this fear and you live with the fear. Why do you want to live with the fear? Take the fear out of your system, out of your mind. What do I mean? Make, that's right, make a bold move to vote the opposition. Vote SGP. SM Go now said Round one is over. We are in round two. I don't know how many more rounds to come. And he wants TAP to question the opposition. What are your plans? Every time say the same thing. Are they motherhood statement? I think they use my words. How do you intend to translate your plans into real situations on the ground? Right record. We in the SDP have concrete plans even from round one. In the form of the SDP promises, the 10 promises in the form of our manifesto. The manifesto, I urge all of you to go to the website, to go to the website. There are 15 areas ranging from cost of living, foreign workers, rising HDB prices, healthcare, education, transportation, environment, special needs of Singaporeans and not only that we provide our solutions to the problems they cannot claim we have no solutions we have solutions to the problems we outline 
and not forgetting we have Tan Ji Se's 46 page document. Somebody say either they have not read they have not read the entire 46 document, so 46 page document, or their English is very bad. They keep saying Tan Ji Se wants to do away with manufacturing. He never said that. He said we will phase out, we will reduce, we will go into key areas in manufacturing and then the not so important areas will be phased out. We never say do away. They always say do away. So that is something they have to consider. Now, the PAP often make two statements. One, the PAP has a proven track record. Proven track record. <laughs> proven track record. <laughs> and the second statement they like to make is, Singapore has a first class government. Now, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Singaporeans, if the opposition parties are never given the chance to go into parliament, how can they show their records? How to show records? No records! No records, how to show? If we lose election, we are broken records! And then we spend the five years repairing the records. So you vote us in, we show you our records. If you are not happy, if you are not happy after five years, kick us out. But you will never kick us out. Because we will prove we are as capable or even more capable than the PAP MPs. PAP may like to see itself as a first world government. But it is a first world government of a second class people. We feel second class under this over-dominance government. The way we can become first-class people is to have first-class voice in Parliament. So ladies and gentlemen, first-class voice, first-class opposition, so that we can produce first-class people. Now, first-class voice, first-class politics will make Singaporeans proud. Already, one Singaporean told me, because this is a watershed election, watershed election, she is already feeling proud to be a Singaporean. Can you imagine after 7 of May, if a sizable number of opposition members get into parliament, all of you will stand tall and proud! You will find your international status go up. Western democracies will deeply respect you as Singaporeans. Not, not just as economic digits, but as capable, intelligent, politically aware Singaporeans. And contrary to what the PAP think, uh, an energized Singaporean an energized society will bring the share prices up! Yeah! 
your share prices will go up and we will build on whatever good that has already been done in Singapore. We will not destroy, we will build, we will enhance, we will give a lot of ideas, we will make Singapore a better place for all of us. Singaporeans will be empowered and will walk tall and proud and be full of graciousness. If you vote us in, our sacrifice will not be in vain. Look at Michelle, look at Jise, look at Vincent. We, are, we have everything to lose, nothing to gain. By, by standing up for Singapore, by you voting us into Singapore, Singapore has everything to gain and nothing to lose! Now is the time. Now is the time. Don't be afraid. The vote is secret. I have already explained to you the psychology of fear. Finally, I don't think I have time to go into Mandarin and Hokkien. <laughs> I will reserve it for tomorrow! So vote opposition on 7 of May. Vote the 11 winning candidates of SDP! I want to conclude by using one word someone used today. Let's have Roja for supper! Roja for supper! Nice Roja for supper!